What's up guys? In today's review, I'm gonna be showcasing a brand new smartwatch that was sent to me by a company called Emilab. This is the W13. It's a new smartwatch that's available for both Android and iOS. So I'm excited to try it out. This comes in at only $70, so it is a very budget one, but it's packed with a lot of features and I actually really like the design of it. So let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. I'm gonna run through all of the specifications and all of the use cases about the watch and then connect it to my phone with the Emilab app and see how that performs. So let's get straight into it. So let's start off with the unboxing. You can see there's a few little highlights of some of its capabilities, but we'll cover that in a second. So there you have the watch right there front and center. So I'll go through the design of that in a second. So we've got a user manual. Let's just quickly take a look inside. Covers all of the basic information that you need for a smartwatch. You may or may not read this, but useful to have. And then right at the bottom, you have yourself the USB charging cable for the watch, and I will connect that to charge it up. Then you also have a second strap. So this one is a very nice orange textured silicone strap, which most people are probably familiar with. So you can replace this. They have a lot of different strap options that you can also purchase as separate accessories. One of the things that I really like about this watch is the strap itself. So let's take a look at the design of this. So let me peel back this. Now you can see this is a very nice 1.43 inch AMO LED screen. It has a little digital crown on here. So if you press that, you've got yourself the watch face there by default. Plenty of different watch faces. I believe there's over 100 plus, so you can cycle through and find one that suits you. So before we go into the actual features on the screen, this is a very nice magnetic strap, and this is a strong magnet as well. You can see and hear how quickly that clicks into place. So when you are going to put this onto your wrist, you literally tie it around and there you have it. So you can do all of your exercises, running and routines without having to worry that this will actually fall off because the magnetic on this is actually very strong. So you can tighten it as much as you want and it just snaps into place. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of these apps. Okay, so before you start using the watch, the first thing you need to just make sure is to charge it up. So you've got your magnetic charger just there at the bottom with you, these little four pins. You bring your charger, make sure the wire is on the left, click it on there, and it will start to charge. So once it's fully charged, then you can start using it and you get a very long 15 days of battery on eco mode. So it does last very long, now, if you do use certain features, like for example, the always on display, which I'll show in a second, then it does reduce the battery life quite a lot. So it's up to you depending on how you use it. So let's go ahead and dive in to the smartwatch itself. From the front, if you scroll down from the top, you have yourself the control center for all of the quick controls. You've got a little torch there, night mode, phone calls for Bluetooth calling. You've got a little brightness button there as well. And then you can actually go into settings with that button just on the right. If you swipe up from the bottom, these are your notifications. Swipe from the left, you can see your steps and calories and you know how much distance you've done in that day. If you keep going, you can measure your heart rate, your blood oxygen levels. Now all of these things are tracking 24 hours so you can always get the most up-to-date health metric data you can. You also have some uh, speaker controls for your music. And then you can also link this to your voice assistant. So whether you've got Google Voice Assistant or Siri, you can also do voice commands from here as well. So plenty of different apps that you can cycle through that you can just keep going from the right swipe. If you swipe from the left, this will go into all of your apps. So you can go to training to get your workouts. You can do phone, go into any of the other health apps, and then various other apps that this watch comes with, which you can just see as I'm cycling through. So lots of different options, but let me just go into settings here. You can change your watch face. There's plenty of different options from watch faces, but to get the full extensive list, it's always recommended to go into the app, which I will link and show you later in this video. So whichever you think looks good. This one has a lot of things going on in here. So 
I'm going to select that so I can actually see some of my health metrics as well and see some of my quick access apps with the battery life just there at the bottom. If I go back into settings and I'm using the crown this time, the crown is quite nice as well. You hear your little clicks as you're scrolling through it. You can also have the always on display like I was mentioning. When you switch this on, you will get a message that it will require charging every 24 hours, but you can actually switch between digital or analog. So whichever always on display you like, you can select that one. So I'll leave that one on digital. So if I go back, once this times out, you can see it will go into the always on display and showcase the time. There you go. Always there anytime you need it. Now, in addition to the crown, you also have a little button here, which you can use to access all of your apps. So when you press that, every single sports and workout exercise app to start tracking your workout routines is listed here. And there's over 100 of them. So you can see, as I'm just cycling through these, what various different options you have. And it pretty much covers every single thing that you can think of that someone might use a smartwatch to track. So plenty of options, which I think in here is a lot more tailored and unique workouts and sports that I've seen in some of my other smartwatches, even including the Apple Watch, to be honest, which I think is quite nice. The other thing that I would say is when you go into the list of sports and workouts, they're not listed in alphabetical order, which can be quite painful when you're trying to find something specific because then you have to cycle through pretty much every listing to find the one that you're looking for. Hopefully in a software update in the near future, this will be updated so it is ordered by alphabetical. But for now, you'd have to find the one you're looking for and it's quite easy to go through all of them, whether you're swiping or using the crown. But nonetheless, that's something just to be aware of. And finally, one other thing I wanted to mention is that this is IP68 dust and water resistant. So no matter where you're going to use this, especially if you're in the gym and you're sweating or if you're gonna be using this for swimming itself, then you can actually use this inside a swimming pool. So let's go ahead and try some workouts. I'm gonna use the workout tracker and get some data onto the app before I run into the EmiLab Fit app, which I'll also link in the description of where you can download and see how the app works. Okay, so here I am in the gym, ready to get the watch on, get the app running with my treadmill run and also with my strength training and get some bodybuilding done. And so I can showcase some of my data when I switch over to the EmiLab Fit app. So let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the workout is complete. The watch was very comfortable, whether I was doing fast running or any weightlifting, I had no problems. It was super comfortable, it didn't slip off. The magnetic strap itself didn't move and that was one of the things that I really wanted to test out how much rigorous movements I do without the watch moving too much. And that used to happen with some of my straps on my Apple Watch, which I didn't find in this one. And that was quite a nice surprise as well. Now, one thing I did notice as well, that there isn't a dedicated swimming workout app on the watch as well. So it's not like one of the Apple Watch features where you can go into swimming mode and it starts using it to make sure it locks out a lot of the water. This one by default, because of the IP68 water rating, it's perfectly fine to take in a pool and do your swimming, but there's no dedicated workout routine in the app or in the watch itself to track your swimming. So that's kind of like one of the downsides but I still felt comfortable swimming with this. I didn't feel at any time with the magnetic strap itself that it would fall off via any of my strokes whilst I was swimming. But nonetheless, I had a good time using this in the pool and it still felt very comfortable to get all of my swimming session completed. Okay, so let's take a look at a little bit about notifications. You can see this is a text message that I received from one of the services that I subscribe to. You can't actually see the entire message if it is longer than a certain amount of characters. You can see it's got the ellipsis at the end and you can't actually reply using a dedicated keyboard or anything like that, even voice notes to any of your messages, whether that's through SMS or WhatsApp or anything like that. But nonetheless, it gives you a brief snapshot of the message once you do receive the notification. And I have noticed the notifications are very fast when they receive on this watch compared to when I get them in my phone. And it's almost pretty much instantaneous, which is a lot faster than something like my Apple Watch, for example. So that is a very positive sign there. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Emilib Fit app, which you can get on Android and iOS. Once you open it up, the first time you wanted to pair your watch to the app itself, 
You don't need to do anything specific. The watch just needs to be nearby to it and it will pop up and appear in the devices tab. It's very quick and easy. It happened the first time I had no issues and that very quick connection I think is absolutely great. So on the home tab, you can see some various snapshots of your health activity. Right there on the top, you can see your today's steps. If you click on that, you can actually cycle through and look at your day, your week or your month just to track how your steps and other fitness metrics have been like the distances and the calories burnt during it. So if you go to week and month, you can also see and track that accordingly. When you go back, you also have these five other metrics here. I've only utilized heart rate and blood oxygen, but you can also use sleep, pressure and mood if you do set that on. If you tap in any of these once you do populate some data, again, you can also check various different dates and ranges to track how you have performed over time. If you go into the sport tab, which is the second tab at the bottom, you can see along the top, you have some tabs here, just a few options there, but once you hit the plus icon, you can actually add all of your main sports and activities and workouts, exercise routines, etc., to your favorites at the top here, like I've done. And any that you want to remove, you just hit on one of the red icons and they will move them down to the optional exercises list right there, just below. And there is quite a lot of them. Now to go and have a look at any of your workouts and exercises or sports that you've done in the past, it's not so intuitive to find, but where it says last kilometers, 1.91 here, just underneath that, you have running outdoors this month. If you select that, this is where you'll be able to see along the top, all your tabs and categories and see what the workouts have been for each of those different exercises. So you can see my outdoor running one I've listed there. If I scroll to the right and go to strength training, you can see the time and duration that I've done this. And when you tap on that, you can see more details about that specific workout like so. You can also select the chart view and see how that workout performed whilst you were doing it, which I think is quite a nice thing to have as well. If you hit settings, you can also set and toggle which one of these content that you like to display in your charts and data. And then if we go over to the device tab at the bottom, you can set all of your different customized settings for your watch itself. Here you can also browse through a list of all of the watch faces. There is quite a lot, so you can just keep scrolling down and populate whichever one you like. And it's very quick and easy. You can change some of the settings around heart rate, blood oxygen, emotional stress, sedentary reminder. I think this is quite nice. So if you are just sitting down for let's say 60 minutes, you'll vibrate the watch to remind you between a certain start and end time during the day of when you should start maybe moving around. Then you also have notifications, phone, SMS, of course, by default. If you go into app, the different types of notifications that you can turn on to send to the watch are mainly these social media and messaging apps. There isn't a way to add any third party or a wide variety of third party application notifications to your watch, much like you can do in other smartwatches like the Apple Watch. But for the most part, these are the types of notifications that I would be fine with being alerted to on my watch and I don't want it to be over notified of very unnecessary things. So I think this pretty much covers everything that the majority of users would actually want. Light up, I've left this on. So when you raise your hand to look at the time, it will turn on the screen and you'll be able to see your watch face straight away without actually trying to wake it up with the crown. And then you also have some more settings that you can actually play around with. And then the last tab is about your profile. You can set your goals, weekly calories, weekly steps, how you often you train, and any other settings that you would expect from a smartwatch. So overall, very nice Emilab Fit app, which you can actually explore and just use more features and to set certain goals with your actual W13 smartwatch here. Okay, so now let's test out the Bluetooth calling feature. I've asked my sister to give me a test call, so she should be calling in a second. And we'll be testing out not just the microphone quality from my voice, but the speaker quality from her voice. So let's see how that goes. Hey sis, thanks for calling. No worries. I just wanted to test out this new smartwatch and get your opinion on how the audio quality is coming out from your side. Whereas uh, I'm actually about 15 centimeters away from the watch, speaking directly into it. Yeah, honestly, I think it's pretty much the same as the other watches you've had before and spoken to me on before, including your Apple Watch. Yeah, that's what I was going to assume. And do you hear like any type of background distortion or anything like that? No, it's pretty clear. Um, your volume is quite good as well. It's not that quiet. So overall, it sounds quite good. 
Okay, that's good. that's good to know. And I can actually hear you quite clearly on the watch speakers. So that's a good test of the speaker itself and not just the microphone. But okay, that's all I wanted to do. Thanks for the test call and uh, I guess I'll speak to you later. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye. So there you have it guys. It wasn't too bad and it's pretty good. So if you wanted to really get really clear audio calls, I do suggest that you use it indoors mainly rather than outdoors when it is quite noisy, especially from the wind noise and the background ambient noises from the roads. But the closer you keep it to your mouth, the easier it would be for the other person to hear you on the other end of the line. So overall, pretty impressed. So my final thoughts, I think this watch is perfect for those on the market for a budget smartwatch, one that works with both Android and iPhone, but still has all of the main features that 90% of smartwatch users would expect. And not only that, I just think this is a very beautifully designed watch. Hopefully you found this review helpful. Any questions, as always, ask down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.